I say? <laughs> they said, well, when you get in the corner and you have the cat come over and gobble you up, and he showed the corner where it is, he gets that corner, he'll go outside the maze and can't get back in. <laughs> <laughs> and they just love it. Hey, sexy! <laughs> <laughs> they make games out of the floors. <laughs> and I would sit there and try to tell them, you're supposed to tell me these things, right? <laughs> <laughs> now they have too, many, much, too much fun having them yep. playing the game. <laughs> so uh, I was wondering if you could tell me about Poltergeist. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Poltergeist. That was out of uh, 2600 uh, when I was a video song. The, it was using anybody familiar with analytic glasses or red and blue? The paper ones? We would make, we made a game that showed 3D depth. And as far as we know, it was the first one. And it actually, when you shot, it was a house, and the ghost would appear in the house, different places. And your hand control, you had to pick the same plane that the ghost was in to shoot him. Otherwise, you wouldn't hit him. So you had to move back and forth in depth to shoot the ghost. And uh, I couldn't put the name on it. I wanted to call it Poltergeist. Geist. Then I changed to Polar Ghost. And my legal guys kept saying they're still too close, right? Uh, but uh, we built several 2600 games on NVIDIA software. We did uh, games for uh, Parker Brothers, Milton Bradley, Mattel, and Amiga. We did a surfing game for me. So under the Penn Network um, brand for the hotel, to do the part of the 2600 game? Mm -hmm. Yeah, in fact, we also designed <coughs> their uh, add-on box that plugged into the oh, television. The yeah, oh, the system, system changer. Mm -hmm. Gary? Yeah, as I mentioned earlier, I ran into the guy that wrote the chess game. Yeah. Can you say a few words about that, how that came about? Well, when the, 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 the vision was defunct as far as our regular uh, operations, Saba was complaining that they wanted to sell it off, and they decided that the way they wanted to sell it was to make it into a chess game. <coughs> and what they did is they contracted us, their job, to do the chess game. And we made a cartridge to another division that plugged in and played chess for the Saba game. Okay. It even had a little LED on the output because it took so long to make some of the moves that we wanted to let the player know that something happened. <laughs> because otherwise, he'd sit there and look and say, "What's it doing?" You know, and then sort of light would flash to say, hey, "I'm thinking." Okay. You, who was the guy that did recommended one of the games uh, at, at uh, Fairchild? You said that somebody had recommended a game. We ran a contest, and uh, I was running out of ideas. In fact, what happened was our marketing department was terrible, really terrible. In fact, I'll tell you a story about that. It's funny was that I contracted some guys, consultants on the outside, to build and make a blackjack cartridge. And we had a marketing guy who looked like a cross between Howdy Doody and the beaver. <laughs> and he came to me with a plan and said, these are all the games I saw playing in the Dallas airport. I said, what? Yeah, they're playing these in the Dallas airport. I said, you could take a wooden Indian in the Dallas airport and put a nickel slot in his nose, he'll make money. I said, that's no criteria for testing playing wooden Indians. <laughs> So I said, the heck with this. I took the marketing plan, ripped up and threw it in a garbage can in front of me. And I had contracted these guys to make this cartridge. And they made it, and I sent it to the chairman of the board of Fairchild. Meanwhile, the vice president of the division come down to cut my neck off. And he comes in, huffing and buffing, right? And the timing was excellent. Lawson, yeah, get off the phone. I said, talking to the chairman of the board. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. It's a fact he wants to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> so he's sitting there going, uh-huh, well, you love it. Oh, 
You think it's fantastic? Oh, and he looks at me. Good work, Lars. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, it, it got to be that kind of thing because my guys knew more about games than the marketing guys did because they, they had no marketing. Marketing people actually were Polaroid people. They were into watches. You know, the watch business was our Kim division and it was the albatross around my neck because one of the things we used to, I used to say that I had a big box full of watches and you'd give them away to your friends and your relatives, right? I finally got to the point I had a form made up and I said, sign this form. And so what's that? He said, you will not call me when it needs battery change and the time <laughs> <laughs> You gotta have all, he said, if you sign that, you can have a watch, otherwise forget it. <laughs> and, and some of the things, one time I'm in the room and, our vice president of our division, they're showing us the brand new commercial they're going to put out on TV. And I'm so happy that it's going to be on TV. And they show the commercial, and I'm in the back of the room laughing like a hyena. <laughs> and uh, I get this look about, what are you laughing at, Lawson? I said, that's the dumbest commercial I ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> he said, what's wrong with it? I said, okay, let's talk about it. Here's a man climbing a mountain with an LED watch. Number one, a mountain climber don't give a damn what time it is. That's why he climbs mountain. <laughs> <laughs> so he looks up and the sun's going down. Oh, I guess it's time to go home. <laughs> so that's fun. Number two, he can't see an LED watch in the daylight. Number three, he needs two hands. <laughs> I think it's dumb. <laughs> well, they, they did it anyhow. And Sonny and, Sp and Cher spoofed it. And I was on the floor. <laughs> they did it with Don Meredith. He's coming up and says, oh, I see you got one of those electronic watches. And Sonny goes, yeah. I said, what time is it? It's three. surprised to watch people. In fact, a good friend of mine, Don Staub, he made a statement in one of the sales meetings that everybody by a certain year would have an LED watch. Okay? And Don said, oh yeah? You know, and Don's standing on stage talking to the manager. And he turns around, and I never last saw him in my life. He turns around, he's only got one arm, and his other arm he's trying to do this to bring the watch on. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. Yeah. So you got in the slide about the cable system. You mentioned that very few years, but it said it never went public, so no one ever. No well, one ever, no ever knew, knew about it because we were in a test mode. Uh, Fairchild couldn't get their act together. Uh, we, as a result of it, uh, teleprompter kind of faded away and talked to somebody else afterwards. Even the uh, TV power ended up going to Mattel for a while. Because what happened was that, again, like, see, the problem with a lot of component houses is they don't think of systems attributes. It's almost like the uh, car trying to lead the horse. And they don't understand. In fact, for instance, one of the things I, I very clearly said about the watch business is that in about 10 years, the people who are in the watch business now will have it back because they know their business. And all it is is a technology to help them make a watch. They know the watch business. They know the time business. They know what it takes. And all it is is a means to an end. If the means to an end turns around and thinks they're gonna drive everything, they're wrong, okay? It's like coming up with a brand new engine and think that you're gonna take over the car companies. No, you're not. They will duplicate what they need to put in the car and you duplicate yours, but they're not, you're not gonna drive now. I got one. Um, you still have that box of prototype cartridges uh, that you had at CG 2005 with the. Uh, I still got them. Why? Some reason you want. Uh, just in case, because uh, I thought you were trying to get them dumped to uh, emulation 